Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to do a process of installing a skin on your Venton device um, via FTP and over to your Venton or Enigma device. The process runs the same with other Enigma devices and also um, using a um, IPK skin rather than finding the skin that you install via a zip file on your device or so forth. I'm going to show you a bit of both really, how you install, uh, download an IPK and also how to connect to your box so this video runs a few processes that you guys can relate to. Okay, so first of all you need to find a place online where you um, can grab some skins. Now Craig's got a really good um, repository that you can see in front of me that has some um, Enigma skins and also has uh, different Enigma um, tools like pick-ons, plug-in skins, we tech stuff as well. Okay, but there's loads of places online. If you're like myself and um, troll the internet to look for new sort of exciting skins for your Enigma device, you normally come across them and you don't know how you can install it on your device. So um, now I'm gonna kind of show you guys um, a simple uh, method to do that. It may sound daunting, FTP in your device, but trust me guys, it's, it's not. It's very quite simple and by the end of this video, hopefully you guys can um, uh, relate to that and um, yeah, get some useful help. So once you've found uh, the place where you want to get skin from, okay, I'm going to go with the B Skin HD. I've heard it's um, quite good. Um, okay, so you need to um, download it. I'm using uh, my Mac, but process runs the same um, on any PC. Um, I've already downloaded it in my documents, as you can see there. So once you've downloaded it to where you want it to, to save to, um, that's that job done. Okay, you can do more than one at a time, but I'd like to keep it simple and just do one at a time if you want to install two skins, it's up to you. Okay, so next you need to open up your FTP um, software that you use. I use FileZilla, um, which you will see here, but you can use Putty as Windows and other sort of um, programs like that. So you need to hit uh, host, you need to enter your Venton IP address, username default is root, Password as as um, default is Power Board. I suggest you change this after you've um, you know got familiar with this um, FileZilla and your Venton. Port is twenty one, okay, and then basically hit Quick Connect, okay, and then it will look like this, okay. So on the left hand side, uh, you need to go to where you saved your file. So uh, you went to documents, and as you can see down the bottom, there it is. On this side, which is you're inside your actual device, you need to scroll down to TMP, double click. As you can see, guys, I installed some pickons last night by FTP, and they're, they're there. So we want to install the skin into the TMP folder. So select, and then you want to upload. Okay. So now that's in uploaded. I will we'll close this down and what we need to do is open up the Venton and then we'll run the process from there. Um, we've turned the Venton on um, and I'll sort of say it's already on so um, you can now turn your PC off um, because the process is all run on your device. So we need to hit the menu button and then, then we need to go down to setup. Okay, now this way could be a bit different for different people that are running different images on an Enigma device. Now, because I'm running the VIX4 E2 project as default on a Venton, I install it via this um, tab here. But um, it may have a different tab for installing um, IPKs. And also, your Enigma device or image may be set up so you have a shortcut on your remote. Now, I know some of the shortcuts are. For example, pressing the blue button, you may have a tab in there to say install extension. Um, in there is the same process. So I know the WeTech has that, where you press the blue button and then uh, and then you can install it from there. Again, different images, different paths, but you still kind of relate to what we need to do basically. So let's head into VIX4 2 project and then we need to do a IPKG hyphen install. Okay. So now, as you can see, the vSkin HD that we've just TMP, uh, FTP'd using Valsilla is sat there and ready to install. Um, above there, I installed some pickons last night. 
Um, so that's sat there. But like I say, the one we need is the VSkin HD. So once it's highlighted, press the green button to install. And we yes, we want to install. And then it will run an execution process on it downloading on your Fenton device. But like I mentioned before, the process may run differently to get to this path that we got to. Um, but it is all kind of like, um, you know, you should sort of relate to it really. So now we've got a pop-up saying, do we want to start the GUI? Now we'll select yes. And basically this will just do a quick reboot of basically just the GUI. Um, there are two different restart methods on your on your device a hard re uh, restart and just a GUI restart obviously the hard one um, is quite uh, it takes a few minutes more than the uh, just a GUI um, going back to like the skins I was talking about uh, you know finding new cool ones and uh, online and new ones because you know there's, there's a couple of forums I, I belong to like the sat help forum and the Linux hyphen support forum and it seems to be um, at least two new skins a week um, being developed and um, on those sites you actually get, can see um, the actual skin before you download it as well so if you like the look of something and then it's got an IPK for you to download um, then this is the process we can we can do to get it on your device so now that's all rebooted uh, or restarted should I say we'll go press the, head, the menu button again we need to go down to setup system and then we need to go all the way down to the bottom to use the interface select now we want to go down to skin setup so we'll select that and there we'll see guys is that you've got the V skin HD skin already okay now as default the red HD which is a bit like the virgin skin and the blue skin which is like the sky skin are already there as default I've installed the um, other sky skin and like we've just seen in that process we've just done, I've installed the V skin HD, okay? So what we'll do is that we'll highlight it and then we'll press the green button to save, okay? It will now ask me if I want to restart. Now, if you want to take this to process to go through your system now, press yes, which we'll do. And then it will again do a restart of the GUI, okay? So it's quite a fast process. We, we've been doing this for only a few minutes, okay? So we've been managed to install uh, an APK over FTP, uh, it being obviously a skin, and uh, now we are actually just enabling that skin on your device. So within say 10 minutes or so, you guys can get a new skin on your uh, Enigma device, and um, yeah, and um, play around with it and see what you think. So this should take a couple more minutes, and then we should see the mini EPG there, which I must say, I'm, I've never been a Virgin user, but uh, it does look very crisp to me and very, very neat. So TV's rebooted. Let's go ahead and press the guide button. Let's have a look and see what it's like. Okay, yeah, that looks kind of, uh, kind of good to me. Yeah, that's very crisp. Very crisp indeed, okay. Let's go back to BBC One and let's have a look at the Mini EPG. So press OK and then press OK again. Here's a Mini EPG. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so now we've got the Virgin Skin, for example, on our device. <coughs> Sorry. Um, press the Menu button now. So say you don't like that skin for whatever, whatever reason. Okay, we want to go back down to Setup. We want to go to System. And then we want to go down to Use Interface. Go down to Skin Setup. And it's just an easy process of basically going and choosing back the skin you want to go back to so let's go back to the sky one for example press yes again so literally just a few clicks on your remote and um, you, you can choose whatever skin you want you, you can go from week to week and have different skins um, a lot of people prefer the sky skin because they can relate to it um, but um, yeah it's a very simple process I'm doing this the, the hard part of all this process is just basically finding the skin you like uh, you can install as many skins as you want to have in that use interface section you can have 10 11 12 it doesn't matter but you can only obviously run one at once and obviously um, you want to keep up to date with the latest skins so you don't want to sort of overcrowd that section with old skins but then some of the old skins are um, 
some of the better skins to use. So we'll just wait for this to restart, which it has done now, and then it will start populating the picture. And then I'll just show you guys that it's all back to normal in the guide sections and in the main interface section. Okay, so we'll press guide. And then you see nothing's changed apart from the skin. So if you, any of you guys worrying about, oh, should I change skin, but I may lose this and may lose that, don't worry about that. It's all basically uh, a skin interface. So I hope you've enjoyed that vid this video. Um, hopefully it's run a few processes within this video that you can relate to and um, get you guys on the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video.